Welcome back to day 19 of the Pokemon Crystal Clear Shiny Professor Oak Challenge, where we are trying to catch every single shiny Pokemon available to us before we fight the first gym leader, or each gym leader, I should say. But in this ROM hack, Pokemon Crystal Clear, it is possible to obtain all 250 Pokemon before the first gym badge. Um, so yeah, and we're doing it where every single Pokemon that I own has to be shiny. Whoops, my hands were, uh, the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way on the keyboard. Uh, there are a couple methods that allow our shiny chances to be much higher, including defeating a singular Pokemon 250 times in a row to get us down to a nice one in 400 or so. And then there's a couple other things that uh, we did in order to get our shiny chances at worst to be a 1 in 371. Currently at 405 encounters on Meowth, so I hope that within the next 200 encounters we will see it. But it's all up to random chance, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the next three hours of just chatting. And, um, yeah, let's get started. What's up, Malik? How's it going? You look richer today. Let's go. How many shinies I got so far? Uh, 41, I believe. It says 37 under the face cam, however, I do have duplicates. Which I did not realize. I might, uh, I might take that off. But 37 unique species, yes. I did not think about that when I was, um... When I put that on the the, uh, screen, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Well, there's even some people that miss the encounters, which, uh, is, like, big white text above the chat, so... I'm not sure how that happens, but it does happen sometimes. It's the total number plus four until we get to, I believe, Slowpoke is next. We have to catch two shiny Slowpoke. Uh, one for Slowbro and one for Slowking. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today, and if not, I hope that the stream can make your day just a little bit better, whatever shenanigans we happen to get into on this fine Thursday, or Friday if you're watching the YouTube VOD. Good to be doing this again, a nice little break. A little break for the hands, uh, that can be pretty nuts when we're, when we're speedrunning Sonic games, so... Pretty darn nice. Uh, tomorrow, probably going to be doing... I don't know if I want to do any percent or if I want to do, uh... Well, we're gonna probably race, um, Asin Bunwa with Goku Chat. Um, depending on who's available, so there'll be that. Um, but I don't know if I want to do Asin Bunwa runs beforehand or if I want to do any percent. Because I'd really like to get that sub-130 RTA in any percent. Uh, for Shadow Gens. I think, I think it'd be pretty good to do. Um, and then next week, uh, we'll probably be, got no doubters. Doubters could get some good money. Right now. If not, the believers are just gambling whether or not they get to keep their points. <laughs> if there are no doubters. Especially because this is a lower viewer stream. Predictions are worth a lot more, that's for sure. Um, I definitely, I think next Friday... Did Matteo spit zero rings? Um... I don't know. That's an interesting question. Oh, right, right, spectator. Spectator, uh... Voting. I forgot about that. Um, let's see... Also, I want to say, I definitely want to... We're going to be covering, covering Rascal next Friday. I think Fridays, uh, we're bringing back the oddball stuff. Or we're going to be doing, like, uh, different games. I want to do Rascal. want to go uh, through Amy Galore once again. Because, of course, right after I uploaded my last part of the Amy Galore playthrough, they updated the mod. Um... I think there's a couple other things, but I can't remember them right now. What's up, Legacy? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Where we are currently shiny hunting for Meow. It's not real money, let me gandle. That's how it be. That's how it be. 
Oh, I actually know exactly what I want to do for Shadow Gens tomorrow, but I will leave that for tomorrow. It will be in any percent run, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let me gamble even though it's not real money. That's how it be. That's how it be sometimes. Bum, 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 bum. Really hoping to get this me out within the first hour because I think... I don't know who's next. Let me see real quick. After Meowth is Psyduck. Okay. It's Psyduck and then Mankey. Psyduck uh, and Mankey are the exact same thing we're doing right now. So, our chances for two shiny Pokemon this stream, fairly good. Uh, probably not three, though. And then I think we finally get... I think Psyduck's in the Safari Zone, though. And then we get Growlithe. So we get Growlithe. So we got Meowth right now, Psyduck next, Mankey after, Growlithe after, then Poliwag. Poliwag we are going to have to get two of. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. To be a bit off topic, no worries in that. Are my splits available for download anywhere? They are not. Um, I, will, I can put them on SRC when the boards go live, though. But it's not very hard. All you gotta do is make splits for each act and then uh, the boss fights. <laughs> yeah, if you if you watch the the video, you can see the splits. Big brain right there. You can chat about anything. You can chat about almost anything. Yeah, it's not too hard. If you want to know how to set up sub splits, it's also very easy. Um, especially because there are YouTube tutorials everywhere. What is this? What is this? What am I being pinged about? Oh no. Beats is DMing me. Uh. It's always bad when Beats is, uh... When Beats is DMing me, it means I'm in trouble. Alright, I gotta remember that. Besides the obvious stuff. Well, sometimes it's not so obvious. You know, you never know. Hey! Speaking of beats. Chad, I'm in trouble. The beloved Pokemon, yes. Beloved by all the people that are here right now. Including myself. <laughs> Tuesday's stream was pretty wild. Uh, it was a pretty fast chat for a Pokemon stream. Yeah, it's over. He's coming. He's coming to ridicule me in public now for ghosting him <laughs> on accident. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. bum 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 bum. Whoa, a Niv is lurking. Wow. <laughs> Even the bot doesn't feel like chatting. That's that hurts, man. That hurts a nip. What's a half lurk? What does that mean? What's your delay right now, Beats? I think you can see. Can you see your delay? I think you can see your delay if you go advanced video stats. Yeah. I'm curious on what your delay is. At least 30 seconds? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I said that a while ago. 
Not a fan of the crystal clear streams? It's a very specific crowd. Twitch is like that? Um, it's so you can't stream snipe me playing Pokemon. We don't want you accidentally, uh, invading. <laughs> What's up, Philip? How's it going? You know, Beats has been to more Pokemon streams than Sonic X Shadow Generation streams. I'll have you know. Played an hour or two of Crystal Clear? Well, I hope you liked it, because this ROM hack is pretty hype. Yeah, we're regular hunting right now. Man, this challenge would be done so quickly. Pokemon better? See, this man's speaking the truth right now. Currently on my, uh, on my casual playthrough team that I'm doing on my phone right now, I've got, um... I think I'm running Ampharos, Mistrevis, Golduck, um... Macargo, Miltank, and Gligar. And I actually really like Gligar. I've always liked Gligar from a design standpoint, and, and Gliscor is o okay, but I really like Gligar. Last time I was in VC, he was complaining that you were always playing Pokemon when he joined. So, uh, beats. Let's talk for a sec here. I always stream Pokemon on Tuesday and Thursday. So hear me out. Crazy idea. You don't want to watch Pokemon. Don't come to the stream on Tuesday or Thursday. Which is even funnier because I I haven't streamed Pokemon. This week was the first week I streamed Pokemon in the last two weeks. <laughs> I was always playing Pokemon. He's a little silly. We're all just a little silly. That's how it is. Alright, see you later, Cosmic. Good luck on that one hour's sleep. I did see that message, but forgot to respond to it. Month of Shadow? Well, we were still doing Pokemon on Month of Shadow. Uh, I just didn't do it the week before release, and I didn't do it the week of a week after. Come to the stream just to complain for the funny? There you go. It, it gets the chat scrolling. <laughs> it gets the chat scrolling. Switch 2 will be backwards compatible? Man, they that is smart. Good job, Nintendo. So now the next console has one of the best Nintendo libraries out there. <laughs> Already. Hopefully they go the extra mile and increase the performance on the Switch games. Well, it got them to do something officially, so hopefully the, uh... Hopefully the backwards compatibility on the next console will be good. The mod beef is real. True. Very true. It was a Jesus violence. I mean, Breath of the Wild with a stable frame rate? Dude, who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll literally be like the cheapest, most bullshit emulator. Um. Yeah, because I guess it's Xbox that's actually really bad with backwards compatibility. High on Nintendo's priority list, Sonic Forces and Sonic Frontier. Well, probably Frontier is actually. I think it sold quite a few Switch copies. Gonna run Switch games natively? Oh my goodness, that means they might perform better. At least I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Yeah, that's the hope, anyway. Maybe we'll get, like, one- go crazy and get, like, 120 FPS. 
Not a chance. Not a chance that'll happen. It'd be very funny if it did, though. Which two games have a little no? Little nod to, like, the 3DS ones? Scarlet and Violet hit in 20 FPS. Oh, God. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Nub? What? Oh, Switch 2 games have a little nub. Another shiny hunt? Correct. We are not out of Pokemon, Delcano. The, uh, the new 3DS nub. Yeah. I never got to do 3DS, so I wasn't sure what uh, you were talking about. This guy's doing another hunt? True. This challenge would have been so easy if we only hunted for one shiny, right? You want to you want to say killer mustache? Is it, is it really a killer mustache? I mean, I'm kind of rocking the whole beard at this point. I'm not doing Movember. I was going to do Movember, and then I had to ac uh, I accidentally messed up and had to shave early, so I'm just running with it. Oh no, the chat, dude! Why does this happen on this scene all the time? It's only this scene, or whenever I undo something else, it breaks the chat, and it's so annoying, and I don't know how to fix it. Because it only happens on this scene, and no others. Whatever. Easy. Quick fix. The mustache broke, chat. I appreciate the compliment on my mustache, though. Hey, what's up, Peacalt? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, my mustache is probably the worst, uh... Are your friends? Yeah, we'll allow that, why not? Bullying? What? How is Dilf bullying? I mean, I guess it's kind of bullying. More of a compliment than anything. Your friends say you're more of a Dilf than before? Dude, when's the Dalcano mud rip face reveal? It had Minecraft? The new 3DS had Minecraft? That's hype. Well, every console has Minecraft, doesn't it? Since Minecraft came out. What do you call the glasses depth in English? Like, the thickness of your glasses? Like, your lens? Thick with two Cs? Like, amount of zoom? There are- there are such a thing as, like, reading glasses that, like, you can see them because they have little lines in the lenses. So when you look down, it's like, it can either be a different prescription or it can be, um, zoomed. Bifocals! Thank you. Bifocal glasses are what I just described. The zoom on my glasses? My glasses don't zoom at all. <laughs> Actually. A full mustache reveal on the final day of November. All right, make sure to post it in Twitch chat so I can see it. It's 3x zoom. He sees it twice the resolution. He's able to really see in between those pixels. Squivel, what does squivel mean? Contacts, night ones? Why would you need nighttime contacts? Unless you're awake at the nighttime. What's up, Nog? Yep, we're Pokemon in right now. 
The Nogs. Mr. Yoinkity Spoinkity himself. I see every frame. <laughs> Life is in frames. <laughs> That's pretty nuts, dude. I'm consider me impressed. Meowth. You got 40 minutes, Meowth. We gotta get two shinies, man. We need we need the extreme luck, like with Spiro, because we got Spiro in like 30 encounters. Is Nog not talking to you? He literally just responded to you. Who's Joe? Oh, uh, looks like there's a VC that I missed. <laughs> oh! Got him. And see, normally the next day. Okay. For me, I find it kind of odd to have to put them in before you sleep, since you're not... Like, you just put them in in the morning. But... Whatever works. I also have contacts, but glasses are much more money efficient, so I only wear them. Glasses prescription, gotcha. You should really get on that? You need to get on that right now. That it says go subscribe, yeah. I mean, Snorlax has the right idea. I'm supposed to see your dreams. Very true. Nobody does eye exams? I mean, I can see just fine when I'm wearing glasses or contacts. I can actually see pretty well when it's bright outside. Without anything. But, um... If it's not bright outside, well... Not great. What if we get- I hope we don't get the 666. If we get the 666, it's gotta be on like a ghost or dark type Pokemon or something. That'd be pretty hype. Uh, I don't think Cosmic is here, and I'm pretty sure Wolf Beat is not here. I forgot to ask Cosmic if you could, uh, if you could chain fishing encounters. Because I think Poliwag might be in the Safari Zone. I'm not sure. Your vision's slightly shittier. Eye exam tests are also, uh, could be frustrating because you could just be dumb. Because <laughs> you have to tell the doctor what you see. Ooh. Well, the reason I say that is because I had to go through a colorblind book. This was after my pupils were already dilated. So I just want to say that. After my pupils were dilated, I went through the entire colorblind book, and the dude was like, I had never been through that entirely with someone before. And he started pointing around objects in the room and asking me what color they were. And I was like, I mean, I do totally fine. I do totally fine when it's before my pupils get dilated. The whole... The whole eye exam was very, like, weird. It was very off. Like, things were done in a very strange order. Do I have perfect color vision? I mean... I can just- I can pretty well distinctify every color, so... I would say that I have normal color vision. If I go through each of the filters, because I can change the color filters on my iPhone, like, if I go through each of the filters, each one looks distinctly different than the normal one.
Like the blue and black dress? The blue and black dress was like a lighting thing. It was the lighting of the picture. What? The actual dress is black and blue. Anyway. <laughs> They're not wrong. The dress was actually black and blue. And in terms of that picture, the very first time I looked at it, it was black and blue. And then someone told me, doesn't it look like it's white and gold? And I only saw white and gold after that. Was part of a domestic abuse campaign? What is it like you can't see it or something? I don't remember that being a thing. What does it take to be- That probably wasn't the, uh... <laughs> original intent of it, though. I saw it as white and gold, which means that's the objective reality. That's what Haley says. And it'd be silly of me to disagree with... the woman. How does black look gold? Have you... Do you only see the dress as black and blue? It's not that the black looks gold, it's that the picture's lighting... It, like, it fucks with your head. It's like an optical illusion. Photography is funny like that, yeah. Do, 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 do. It's like the, the Yanny, was it Yanny or Laurel or like L Yancey or Laurel? Laurel and Yanny. Those kinds of things. Those old school 2010s memes. God, old school 2010s, that's rough. High school was in the 2010s. Do you remember when you went to high school? Well, there's your problem. <laughs> it's the sun! Wait, where's the sun? I mean, it's gotta be nice that you guys get flashbanged every time I encounter a Pokemon. Well, when I do a normal wild encounter, the screen turns black. But when I do a static encounter, the screen turns white, and then we get what happened with Elekid. It's the sun on the dress. Well, I'm, I'm not following. I don't know where you are, bro. You're <laughs> you're off in La La Land to me. Oh, you mean the sun is what caused the lighting of the picture? As far as I know, you cannot get missing, though. Though I wouldn't be surprised if it were an easter egg somewhere. Like one of those really hidden easter eggs. Because this game has like... Super duper hidden stuff. Like I think in terms of what people have posted in the Discord that I know most of the easy to moderate secrets in this game. But there are some that are just like, really hidden. That liter literally only like bug, bug testers would know. And then, there's like the level of like, you're probably gonna find it because it's like a hint, it's hinted at in the documentation for Crystal Clear. And then there's like, you'll find fr from being in the Discord. And then there's, you'll find, from being a bug tester, and then there's, you'll find, from literally being in, like, the core group of people that created the game. Or a friend of Shock Slayer. I would love to eventually know all the secrets, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Especially because I've only been playing Crystal Clear. I think, uh, what, Philip? you first told me about it in March? 
So I've only been playing Crystal Clear this year. No, that's not true. When did I join the Discord? I feel- I'm pretty sure I joined it last year. Wait, it doesn't tell me. What? Oh yeah, I joined February 17th. Yeah, so only this year. What is this? Oh, is this just channel? <laughs> My goodness. Hey, what's up, Wolfbeat? How was the workout? Thanks for asking. Workout was good. Did a little walking, did a little running today because I was feeling particularly hype. What's up, Doc? How you doing? We are still meowthing it up. We normally find the shiny between 600 and 700 encounters, so statistically, we're getting close. Realistically, we're not any closer than we were, um, since 250. Bum, 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 bum. Do, do, do. If it was a standard one, it would be known about? I don't know, I feel like Missing No could be in this game somewhere. Just like how there's, um, there's a secret custom palette shiny Magnemite. I believe it's the one on top of the TV in, uh, Goldenrod. Sprain your knee? Oh shit, dude. Well, I hope it's healing well. See, spraining... I mean, I don't want to say that spraining isn't the worst thing to happen. Well, whenever you pull something or sprain something, it takes the longest to heal, from what I understand. Assuming that you can afford medical care, uh, if it were worse. <laughs> Understanding how probabilities work. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I do retain some of that info from college. Though I did not retain much of the info from college. Because... Pretty much everything post-sophomore year has no practical application. <laughs> From my major. Unless I were to be a professor, or math teacher, or some other thing. Yeah, I hope so as well. <laughs> nice, Lima. That's actually really cool attaching it to an actual game. Oh, baby. You're forced to watch me grind for shinies? I mean, nothing's forcing you to be here, but I'll certainly take the extra viewer. And possible stimulating conversation in the chat. But I can't say I'm upset. <laughs> I wonder how much different, like how far ahead we would be if I were to use speed up. Speed up? I don't think, like maybe if I did double speed. It would be useful, but I don't think more than double speed would be useful because then the inputs would just be too hard. It would also be extremely likely for me to reset over shiny. I can't close it. Yeah, the moment you join the stream, uh, you cannot do anything to get out of the tab. It locks you in. The special deal I made with Twitch. Or maybe the Bonzo shirt's just that mesmerizing as he stares at you into your soul from above the boom arm. It is a good shirt, I agree. Bonzo was being a little shit not listening to my commands today, but he would listen to Haley. 
So now he's been demoted to branding only. Our relationship is over. <laughs> Philip coming in each time with the Super Saiyans. I love it. No, you don't even sign the thing. Uh, simply joining the stream and typing in chat gives you, um, like, forces you in. It's a verbal agreement. What if I put that in the rules? Like, once you talk in chat, you can't leave. <laughs> Damn, that's rough, Lima. Badios here about to get an extremely high payout of uh, nothing. Because <laughs> he can't gamble in his country. 96. Four more Meowth. Yeah, tell me the... Tell me the weird 16 number thing on the card and the uh, funny three numbers on the back. <sighs> yeah, also to join the stream, uh, you have to type in your mother's maiden name. And speed up as much as you'd expect? Gotcha. You're writing novels now? These are the perfect streams for me to be able to read novels in chat. Thankfully. Sixty-nine four twenty? Wow, that's uh, quite a short credit card number. Oh my goodness, pay out the doubters. The no doubters. The believers just straight up lost money. Beautiful. All right, we're doing 800 encounters now. So it took us um, it took us 20 minutes to do 200 encounters. You are never getting that 1K back. It's true. Do you guys see? I just have to check here. It kind of looks like on OBS that the color of the game is different. Oh yeah, look at the colors are a little bit darker, or maybe that's just uh, my monitor. I think that's actually just my monitor. My monitors are slightly different colors. Losing money for free, let's go. Don't forget to vote in the prediction. Her maiden name is Gliznor. Oh my God, what were we gonna call me out? I completely forgot. I was like, that's gonna be Meowth's name. And I don't remember it. Meowder? <laughs> Definitely wasn't that. Yo, 17k on the doubt? Someone's hoping for a sand true. Gliznorp? But Gliznorp has to be a green shiny. Brain Blast! That's what it was. It was Brain Blast. Was that- is that 10? That's 11 letters. So we'll call it Bran Blast. <laughs> Bran Blast sounds like an actual, like, Gen 10 Pokemon name. Johnny Espeon is kind of Gliznorp-esque, you're right. That could be our Gliznorp. I'll also, by that point, be knee-deep in the Eevee grind, so... Have you killed the space? Well, Brain is six and Blast is five. Nope. Brain is definitely also five letters. Yep. I don't know why I think Brain is six letters, but it is definitely not. Name Bramblegast? Let me guess, that's a grass ghost type. Because for some reason, after Gen 6, they were all about the grass and ghost types. Yep. It's a cool typing. I guess. 
Because we got Pumpkaboo. Uh, no, Pumpkaboo isn't grass. I think it's just Ghost, right? But we had Trevenant, who's a really cool Pokemon. Bramblin. Um... Berry type broke everything? What do you mean? Berry type balanced things. Dude, Gen 5 dragons are fucking nuts. Like, Hydreigon is an insane Pokemon without berry type. What actually broke everything was the Generation 6 experience share. For single player, anyway. Yeah, High Dragon was absolutely nasty. All all dragons were nasty. Because for some reason, the Game Freak just couldn't be asked to make a good ice type Pokemon. <laughs> Dredigan? I actually really like Dredigan. It's got that, uh, it's got kind of that Gen 1, Gen 2 design, honestly. It's very simple colors, very jagged looking. I think, what's the Ice Plateau from Gen 6? I think it's Avalug. That one also looks very Gen 1 or Gen 2. I think Avalug has a pre-evolution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. With, uh, Dread again? That's cool. Uh, cause then it have rough skin as well. So it got rough skin and Rocky Helmet. Watching videos about it? Nice. Well, competitive Pokemon is, like, an extremely different, uh, scene than... Single player Pokemon, for sure. I'm shocked though that you can't like use hacked mons. Like, not uh, not obviously with hacked moves or stats or things like that, but just hack them in for IVs and stuff. It's like how much time is wasted just getting the right Pokemon. It's just such an unbelievable time sink to do competitive Pokemon that's not like on Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, it's just like such a grind, so much breeding, so much like everything. Because it's like you gotta have the 31 IVs. It's to level the play field? Wait, what? You mean Pokemon Showdown is, or...? The process of getting into competitive Pokemon. Oh, that you can't hack stuff in? How is that leveling the playing field? Uh, I think the Pokemon company itself would have to sue the creators of Showdown. I mean, Showdown is free, for one. As far as I know. So, there's that. Because Nintendo's usually pretty chill when stuff is free. But I also am not entirely sure if uh, Showdown is completely free.
That's so dumb. Hey, Chad Plays. Chad Plays Games YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. All those free Mario fan games were also harmless. Were there free Mario fan games that got taken down? I see. A lot of them? That doesn't surprise me though, with Mario. Especially if they're Mario fan games that are doing the exact same thing that Mario does. Right, exactly, Philip. Especially now that the games don't have every Pokemon in them. Why do you need, a uh, low IVs for special attackers? Oh. Damn. Oh, because of confusion, gotcha. What are, uh, what are Terra Shards? Are those, like, the thing used to terrestrialize a Pokemon? I haven't played Gen 8 or Gen 9, so... Please no triple dipple number shiny? Yeah, please no 666. Yikes. A Niv? A Niv popping out of his lurk for a, is that a sad? That's not a sad. Yeah, that's Pepe W. Oh yeah, the ball emotes. Oh yeah, what do you think of it? I had a, uh, I had a VHS with the battling Eevee brothers. Wake Up Snorlax and Showdown in Dark City. The three episodes of Pokemon I've seen the most because I would just repeat watching this. Is that ball empty from Knuckles Chaotix or Sonic 3? Huh? If you're talking about the emote that Lima used, that's Shadow in PO6 with the uh, default Smith effect. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The shadow default. See you, Adios. All right, please no shiny, please no shiny, please no shiny, please no shiny, please no shiny. I've oh, only seen the first episode, gotcha. Your opinion is redacted? No, that's my opinion. Oh yeah, also, by the way, I forgot to say, I finished placing all of the audio today. Um. Which means that tomorrow I get to do the amazing process of listening to myself yap. Uh, to make sure that all the voice lines sound good and are properly edited. Woo. Used to hate your voice. <sighs> At least for me, it's never gone away. It's just kind of something you get used to. Hmm. 
You get used to hating it, that is. It sounds so much cooler in my head. You don't get that natural reverberation. Um, that you do when you speak out loud. That doesn't surprise me. Pokemon kind of is the most popular franchise on Earth, so. Like, it would be really hard to find somebody under, like, even my fucking mom, who's like, my mom and dad, who are like, in their 70s, um, know who Pikachu is. <laughs> Incredible in my head, but a buffoon idiot? Interesting. How are my folks 70? Uh, I was born when uh, my dad was 45 and my mom was 40. You just grew up? Wait, what? <laughs> How are you folks 70? <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? Dude, there's there's typos all over the place. You were born in the late 2000s. If it makes you feel better, doc, it's early 70s. <laughs> But I was born quite late. Team Rocket sure are in the Pokemon games. Not in the exact same form as the anime. Well, unless you're playing Pokemon Yellow. What's up, Cosmic? That's that one hour of sleep, really. Really pushing through there. Um. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, uh, Cosmic, I was gonna ask can you chain with fishing and headbutt? I would imagine so. The reason I ask is that I think Poliwag has a fishing spot in the Safari Zone. But not a sweet scent spot. <laughs> Very true wolf beat. Fishing and have butt are affected. Oh, okay. I don't mind they were born in 2000. I mind that they were old enough to drink. Damn. Is it weird your favorite Pokemon is actually Diglett? Uh, I don't think so. Gotcha. Still waiting for you to tell me how to guarantee that shiny Goldeen. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. <laughs> I think I've talked about that before. Bulbasaur, Raichu. Recently, Gligar has been added. 
I did try to use Yanma in my my playthrough. I really like Yan Mega in Gen 4, but as far as I know, the shiny chance uh, in Gen 6 and beyond is 1 in 4,096. Yan Mega, yes. Yan Mega was an added evolution in Generation 4. Yan Megan, the female. Yan Mega is really cool, but at least in Generation 4, it's plagued by the back sprite problem. Got a terrible back spray. Oh, yeah, I'll get on that. I'll talk to the salesman 65,000 times. That sounds like a good use of my time. I don't even think the salesman gives you a soft reset prompt. You were related to Chuck Norris? I mean, everyone's related to each other in some way. And by some way, I mean DNA. Yep, that was the original plan, but Cosmic told me that I was not allowed to know, so. Scrapped that uh, idea for the routing. Uh, if you- if you joined in after day one, uh, the route day one was I got the shiny Bulbasaur, I went to Mount Moon, went to the Magikarp salesman, got the shiny Magikarp, uh, for Battle Tutor. Then I evolved Magikarp into Gyarados so that I could get Fly, because it can get Fly from the Battle Tutor. Um, and then I got Surf from Fuchsia City, got the Lucky Egg. Um, and then we went for Ditto. Uh, so we could get Unknown from Origin Planes for the extra two re-rolls. Um, and... Then I think we got Butterfree for Sweet Scent. We got Butterfree for Sweet Scent and Thief, and then we got the Ancient Pickaxe via the Easter Egg. Genetically engineered from scratch, oh man. Nineteen times removed. Damn. Damn. Sweet home Alabama intensifies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we landed on Stell Lore as the... As the thing. The Stell Lore is Stell Wiki. I didn't... I really legitimately had no idea that my name could just be so malleable. Turns out it is. For better or for worse. Meowth. I would love for a shiny Meowth to appear in the next, uh, 40 seconds. This is when the cope starts and when I get scared that we're having another Sandshrew situation. Can't wait for the Stell merch? Well, you want to get it faster. Share the stream. Let people know about what I do. They've got a 90, based on my like, my like average on both the main and second YouTube channel, they've got a 98% chance that they're gonna like it. So, pretty high odds, I gotta say. Let me actually check it real quick just to confirm the number. 98 might be too high because of shorts. The shorts tend to have more dislikes. Uh, let's see. Analytics. I think it's under audience. 
Um, maybe it's not under audience. Is it just content, maybe? What? Where is this? I know it's somewhere on here. Oh, I think I have to actually look at a video. And go to engagement, maybe? My channel average on my main channel is 98.7. And that includes shorts. So, very high likelihood of success. All I'm saying. <laughs> Short watchers are the biggest haters. Uh, YouTube shorts comments are definitely... They can definitely be out there, that's for sure. Yo, let's go, Cosmic! Spamming the Hubert, probably in Kingdom Valley, I would guess. Doot, 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 doot. I was about to say, that's kind of weird that, like, you would have multiple platforms to watch the short-form content on. But then, I realized that it's like, I only make YouTube shorts, so people would have to come to YouTube to watch my shorts. Do, 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 do. You'd be surprised that when you cut out watching short-form content, uh, how, how much your attention span increases. The two biggest things are one, cutting out short form content, and two, purchasing a timer. Literally, I bought this for six bucks. I actually think it was like 550. Uh, massive productivity hack. This timer. Hey, there you go. Can't be beat? Well, for me. Chilling out on the couch, watching a long YouTube video. You don't know why I don't stream on YouTube? Pretty sure I've talked about it before while you were in chat. Uh, I don't like having the two chats. Or do you mean why I just don't stream on YouTube only? I uh, don't stream on YouTube only because uh, the chat UI is shit. And Twitch's UI is much better. Why isn't the fact you have so many options? That's true. Folks have way more options nowadays than they used to be. There have been ghosts in Pokemon since black and white. There have been ghosts in Pokemon since generation one. Very first instance uh, in Lavender Town. <laughs> Objecting. Pokemon Tower. Yep. In fact, there is a ghost typing. Human ghosts in Pokemon? I mean, there's still been human ghosts in Pokemon since Generation 1. Talk to a girl in Lavender Town, she talks about a weird hand. On your shoulder. Which is really cool, because the Pokemon- I think it was called Pokemon Generations, I think? No. Pokemon Origins, that they did for Generation 6, actually had a nod to it. Where, uh, Red actually encounters the lady. Oh, we are well over an hour. Alright, looks like Meowth is, uh... Meowth's out to play today.
The Oath wants to ruin the pace? It's fun. I mean, we have, uh... Infinite time. So. Well, we have until I die, I guess. There's an entire year theory on YouTube about who Ash marries? Uh, no. I don't. Because I don't have a YouTube home feed. But that doesn't surprise me. Considering I think the only, like, official relationship is Ash and Serena from Generation 6. Squirtle does not bite off Charmander's ear in Origins. Charmander also doesn't have ears. Every fandom has that. Yeah, it can hear. We just don't know how it hears. And that goes for most Pokemon. Because many, many, many Pokemon do not have ears. Meowth, though, is a, um... Exception. Characters don't have ears? Uh, yes. But, what's your, uh, what's your point? There... is no hole in Charmander's head, though. You're making it up! You're making it up, Charmander! Has no ears, hashtag... Earless Charmander. Too bad we already caught Shiny Charmander. <laughs> See, maybe, maybe he does. However, there are no, there are no ears. It can hear, but who knows? Maybe it hears through its feet. Or like Lima Green said, it hears through its eyes. Don't be attributing things that aren't true onto my Pokemon. Come on! Yeah, Meowth is definitely being a little shit, that's for sure. Are we at the time of the year, Cosmic, where we're excited for the semester to be over? Disability representation? No, really? Wait, the semester ends in a week? Bro, what school do you, do you teach at? That's hype. Oh, you want it to be over in a week. That's what you mean. Thanksgiving break is extremely weird. It's like just this random, especially in college. Because like in college, at least my college would end like December 10th would be the last day of finals. So you would, you would go home for Thanksgiving and then come back literally for two weeks. And then go home again. That's why honestly, the COVID year was the year that made the most sense um is we didn't have any days off during the during the fall semester and then um we went home at thanksgiving and had a two and a half month break it's pretty fucking sweet
You got five more to be around people I'm way older than? Five more what? Oh no. <laughs> Just give him a graphing calculator and have it do it for him. Damn, why do you have to do fifth roots? I don't think in my entire time in math I learned anything beyond, like, cube root. Or, like, had to utilize anything beyond cube root. Where is the shiny? It's somewhere. Somewhere in this game. Well, actually, it's not somewhere, because it's not generated until, uh, right when the cry happens, I believe, or right before the cry happens. I don't actually know when the stats are rolled, in terms of the encounter. My guess would be during the black screen. Do you ever get to enjoy triple up arrow notation? Triple up arrow? I've never heard of that. Going to governor's school next year? What's governor's school? I must have skipped that part of class where I learned about Graham's number. I don't recall that at all. And again, again, like I said earlier, I don't recall basically anything I learned. Oh, I gotta watch that. Um, one of my childhood videos is Day 9's Fun Day Monday on Warp Prisms. It's actually a video I still need to show Haley, because it's like a core... a core thing that, that changed my path in life. That dude is incredible. I watched, uh, I watched one of his streams like a month ago, one of his mostly walking streams. And he's still the same, just goofy fucking dude. Um. Yeah, Day 9's Fun Day Monday on Warp Prisms was fucking awesome. That was at the be very beginning of Wings of Liberty 2, where we had maps like, uh... Uh, Shakuras Plateau. No, I think Shakuras Plateau was, uh, the second map pool. But we had a Metropolis. I remember playing a lot of Metropolis. Um, whatever the fucking, like, Temple Grounds one was, it was, like, the green map that had the two island bases that Terran would always fly their building to, and then you couldn't get to them. Is that what it was called? Lost Province? Yo? Wow. Ooh, baby, doubters getting out. I can't believe we're here. But before 1,000 encounters, predict is up. That was the 800th Meowth, Lima. This is Meowth number 801. The count is, uh, is, I guess it's not behind, but... Yeah, it's like the numbers, so this is Meowth803 that I'm encountering right now. Yeah, Philip got all the money. Back, I guess. I have wanted to go back and watch, like, some pro games from Wings of Liberty, but I also don't know if I care enough. Because I actually really like watching pro games now. Hey! Number 806! Let's go! Wow, that looks, uh... No, that looks pretty similar to what's on the, uh... On the thing. Thank you, Meowth, for not wasting any more streams. Let's go. Within the first half of the stream, too, which is hype. I don't know what else to say because I plan on making all these shiny reactions shorts, but uh, here we are. 
if you're watching the this eventual short, we're about to catch me out, and it's gonna be brain brain blast with no space. Let's go. All right, I gotta return all of the points, and we're gonna nickname this thing. Look at that shiny sparkle, beautiful. Yeah, Meowth, you're adorable. Anywho. Go ahead, brain. Blast. B-L-A-S-T. Beautiful stuff. Actually a pretty decent shiny too. Let's go! Drop a save. Do -do -do. Very nice. Okay. We'll go ahead and start the next predict here. Shiny before 250. We are saved, so I am safe to do the replay buffer here. Let's see, this is it, right? Yep. Rate of six. All oh, the predictions even on there, that's so fun. Okay. Uh, this should be 41. Not 44. 41, please. 41. Me. Ow. Me. Ow. Ow. Can I spell it right? There we go. 41 meow. That is correct. All right, let's uh, do our next one, which should be Psyduck, who I think is in the Safari Zone. But I'm not 100% sure if it's in the Safari Zone. We get the blue boy. I can't remember what Golduck's. What's Golduck shiny? Uh, Golduck. Oh yeah, Golduck shiny is lame because it could have, you know, been gold. But they didn't make it gold. Which is uh, really sad. You got an Ebic. Oh, Epic. Oh, he's just in the National Park. Okay. And in the Safari Zone, but uh, it's already nighttime, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, we could go in the Safari Zone. It's not like money is really a problem. It It is lower. The level ball catch will be much uh, easier in National Park, though, so we'll go do it. And we still get the bonus rerolls, so we're not losing out on going over here. Uh, back in Johto, too. Been a while. Um, I guess Ekertik's the closest. Lost Temple, that's what it was called. Lost Temple is certainly a map. I, re I remember how many times with uh, Protoss they'd uh, force field the choke point to the natural because it was just so easy. Just free wall off. Alright, see you out. Well, we'll see ya. Last time. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what other maps were there. Um, there was one that shared the same palette as the Char missions. That was like this big U. I remember that one. Because like, again, Terrans would fly their buildings over and like proxy racks you. It kind of sucks, like, things got so much more standard. You know, those first couple maps were just fucking wild. But now everything's pretty much... I don't want to say pretty much the same, but... This is what your PC looks like, yo. A 90s PC, that's pretty hype. Uh, was Psyduck a 10% encounter? I think it was a 30% encounter in National Park. Yeah. Uh, was that just walk? I don't think there was any water here. But I'm gonna double check. Yes. Okay, so because we're in the National Park, we do get two extra rerolls. If you don't know what rerolls are, it's the ability um, for the amount of times that the stats of the Pokemon uh, get rolled uh, before the encounter starts. So we want as many as possible because the reroll mechanic stops if it's a shiny determinant value. Hey, look at that. Psyduck, uh, very first. 806 encounters already. You're right. I forgot to reset Zero. Cosmic, if you're here, would you happen to know where the, um, where Psyduck footprints are? I mean, if not, it's fine. We're already here. Kanan, but speed up the process just a 10. 
And Niv thinks you're funny? Well, at least someone does. Brood War? I like StarCraft 2 more than Brood War, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I also know StarCraft 2 way better than I know Brood War. All I know about Brood War is that every unit is super OP, but the pathfinding path finding makes it awful. Makes every unit terrible. Amazon thinks I'm funny, too? Eh. I don't know. The Psyduck was a 30% encounter rate, so... Uh, when we max out the chain here, we have a 1 in 252 to find the shiny, which is nice. Wouldn't be surprised, though, if this was like Nidoran and we got the shiny before 250. But anything can happen. Bum 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's not a big deal. Don't worry, there will be a comprehensive video that will, in fact, um, cover every single one. I'm very curious, especially because it's a ROM hack, how, uh, how many views it'll get. But it'll have to be good. It's also a video that's gonna take a very long time to do, so... I'm sure my subscriber count will be a lot higher by the time that one actually releases. Answer decides whether or not you're cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Is Cold. I'm smelling something a little fishy here. You get help with your homework? Uh, Twitch chat, it would be quite terrible, terrible place to do it. What's a negative video game news article? Um... Uh, the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire IGN review, I think. That's true. That is true. Theo 6 is a, a modification so heavy that you could even say it's a from-the-ground-up remake in the 2019 Unity engine. At least I'm pretty sure the IGN review is pretty garbage. For Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It's from the ground up reimagining. You're right, you're right. I messed it up. Is that really a big meme? Because I've seen a couple of comments that say that. I know obviously you, because we practice commentary together. Need a headliner that exudes negativity? I mean, you could probably look up, like, a news article for a game like Superman 64 or Sonic 06 or Big Rigs Off the Road Racing. Big Rigs Off the Road Racing might actually be the best one. It's kind of a meme? Well, I've just seen it in the wild. I know why Philip. I know why it's a meme for Philip. But once I saw it in the wild, I was like, there's something I don't know. doing it hunting for shinies usually sounds like a recipe for disaster uh i definitely think if you're using speed up or if you're like shiny hunting on your own absolutely because it tends to be the thing where it's like the shiny hunting when you're doing shiny hunting you're like um you're like doing it as a background to something else so it's like i'm watching tv while shiny hunting 
Whereas on the stream, one, I'm not using speed up, so the encounters just take a lot longer. Two, Crystal Clear has a bajillion different mechanisms that have you, you know, not accidentally fuck up when you see a shiny. Um, it's also a reason that I'm not, like, having a playlist play over this or anything. I made a bigger splash than I think. I don't know, man. I just do my own thing and I go, uh, I go based off of my subscriber count. That has been something I've thought about recently, though, is that I think I might be more popular than I realize, but... Whatever. I'm here. I'm chilling. Doing what I do. Speaking of popular, how's the video from today doing? Wow, 8 out of 10? I mean, I guess we are getting farther and farther away from the release of uh, the game, so... Checks out. Like, what does is, what is one of these comments say? Oh, <laughs> someone said something about, uh, how they like watching all stages, all bosses, no wing, more than, uh... Um... was it? I'm a, I'm a Psyduck behind. This is Psyduck number 26. They like watching that more than they like watching any percent, which is good to know. Do I have to hit the oinkity spoinkity for views? Has anybody's, like, Shadow Gen's any percent really fucking popped off? I am curious. Level mons will show up once Beats is uh, able to release him. I believe there's someone working on Tropical Resort, but I don't know much about that. Obviously, because I don't internet. I could probably, uh, just look it up real quick. Let's see. Uh... Shadow Generations Any Percent Speed run. There's the... Oh, there's Dawn. With the speedrunners have completely destroyed. That's 30... That's 38k views. Uh, it's not an actual... Speedrun video. Don's kind of popping off, though. He's doing really well uh, with his videos. Um, let's see. Shadow... Uh, shadow Generations Any Percent Speed Run. Um, Zora's got 5.9k views on his. Let's see, most viewed. I think you can filter by most viewed. Uh, view count. Sonic Unleashed any percent speed run. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Um. Sonic Overtime. There it is. That's the, that's the first one. Sonic Overtime with 70k. On his Arc 1 speed run. There you go. I think I already clicked that. Alright, see you in a minute, Lima. Oh yeah, and I guess to further elaborate on the why I'm using a shiny, I know you already said you understand, but for some people that may not understand, it's because part of the rule set is that I can only have shiny Pokemon, which is super unfortunate. Um, because there is a side quest in this game that you can do that would allow me to get three, uh, free shinies. And, uh, or sorry, it would allow me to get ten free shinies. However, I cannot do it because one of those requirements is to catch all of the unknown, uh, but I can only catch unknown I and unknown V, uh, because those are the only ones... Uh, because the unknown letter type is determined by, uh, values. Uh, by DVs. 
Which is the same thing that shininess is. So only I and V can be shiny. Which is a shame. Unless, unless I'm a dummy and you can just see all of them. Yes, it's quite unfortunate. Favorite piece of music in all of Pokemon. Ooh. Uh, all of Pokemon? Do you mean like everything? Because I mean, the Pokemon Master Quest theme song is fucking awesome. Uh, especially the full version of it. I really love the guitar. Okay, in the main games? Probably. Gen 4 Snowpoint City, I quite love. I also quite love Gen 4 Eterna City. Am I playing Pokemon CD today? Uh, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? What's up, Joe? Um, in Generation 2 which is what Crystal Clear is based off of, uh, Legacy. Uh, a shiny Pokemon has specific DVs. DVs are the Gen 1 and Gen 2 equivalent to IVs, which are just... The DVs are five random numbers between 0 to 15 that just determine how your Pokemon will grow. It's basically there, so it's like, your Psyduck is different from my Psyduck, stronger or weaker, like, inherently. Um, in Generation 2, Shininess, um, it had to have a specific- it has to have a specific set of DVs to be shiny. Um, the HP, there's five sets of DVs. There's HP, Attack, Defense, Speed, and Special. Um, Defense, Speed, and Special all have to be ten. Attack can be a whole bunch of numbers that I can't remember. And HP is determined by the other four stats. So it's either eight or zero. Um, but that's it. CD's not- Oh, Dude, I got got by that two times this week. Can't believe it. Uh, so shiny Pokemon are actually uh, middle of the road in this game. It's not what values. Yeah, HP is either 0 or 8. Attack, I think, can be like... It's like... 2, 3... I know, I know Wolfbeat knows. I'm pretty sure it's like... 2, 3... Um... I think it's like 2, 3... 5, 7, 8... Um... 10, 11, 13, 15. Something like that. What's up, Beck? Uh, shiny hunting's going pretty good. We got Meowth and 806 encounter. You shout out your lurkers, broski. Absolutely. I actually haven't done a shout out to the lurkers uh, today. So, better time than any. Shout out to the lurkers. Hope you're enjoying. Also, shout out to the very few YouTube VOD watchers that are here using this for whatever reason. I appreciate you guys watching it. I hope, uh, I hope it's good background sleep noise or, or whatever you use it for. Temple thing called a browser. That could. You forget I have a Bonzo shirt? I make sure to wear it every week. Alright, what I'm gonna do, as I've done before, is I'm gonna let Snorlax level up to 51 here, and then I'm gonna go heal it. Uh, so that way, when I soft reset... I don't have to see the um, leveled up to level 52 animation every time. Yay! 
Snorlax is gonna absolutely destroy Lance when we uh, have to get to that point. Where we're leveling up the pokes. I wonder how long that's gonna take. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it only took like two streams. No, I don't want to do that. No gun. It's all messed up. Bye. Goblin too. Destroy Lance. Yeah, I mean, unless you got a better, uh, you got a better place. I planned on just using uh, the Lance Battle Sim and Experience Share. Also get money from it too. Not entirely sure how that works, but I'm glad it works. <laughs> Thanks for watching this next section. You're welcome, Aniv. I aim to please. Uh, let me go ahead and do this quick party swamp here and save once again. Set 16 gym leaders are usually better. Uh, exclamation mark oak. Wolf beat. Well, you're asking me why I'm using Lance. I know. Uh, fucking snowboarder, snowboarder Ronald and, um, skier Cassidy or whatever the fuck her name is in Price's Gym is what I usually do to level up. Lance will give me some nice money, which I can use for rare candies. Um, Cause how how many rare candies can you buy with a maxed out wallet? I don't remember if I've gotten the twenty five from the Elite Oint Squad yet. I think I have. I don't remember. Been too long. Like 60 to 100? I mean, that's pretty good, because, I mean, all we have to do is evolve the Pokemon, so. Could probably use, like, uh, Experience Share for the lower level evolutions, and then use Rare Candies for the higher level ones. The only problem is, like, over-leveling stuff. I guess. As it sucks that like Pokemon with two stage evolutions, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to fight Lance, tw fight Lance twice for that. Maybe two experience shares would be good, despite the extra text box. I don't know. I'd have to have. I think Cosmic. When he's doing it in 100%, he only uses one experience share. So uh, maybe one experience share is just the way to go. Psyduck does look funny, yeah. Bit of a goofy mon. He was, uh, he was the starter Haley picked for me. Uh, cause that's the shiny sprite for Psyduck. It, it has the same palette as Golduck, 
which makes you think that they would do a thing where gold duck would actually be like yellow as a shiny, but it's not, and it's really lame. Because it'd be way cooler if it was. But I guess that's what custom palettes are for. Yeah. Shiny in Gen 2, I don't think there were any custom made shiny Pokemon for Gen 2. I think there was just like a palette formula that they used for them. Okay, thanks, Wolfie. I appreciate it. I also need to check the Stumma birthdays real quick. Our next one coming up, I'm pretty sure there isn't one today. It'd be really awkward if there was. Our next one, um, will be on a stream day, will be Supra on the 18th, but Burning Dragons and Proto are the next two following Sundays. Uh, not on the calendar, no. But if your birthday is within the next two days, and you want it to be on the stream birthday calendar, then, uh, let me know. What's up, Sky? See you, Chad. Thanks for hanging out with us. Stello Yo Chato. Beautiful stuff. Oh, man. The building the chain is the worst part. Which sucks, because we have to do it for all 135 mons. It's fine when you're only doing it for one Pokemon. <laughs> Can I work on some variations? No, that's fair. That's fair. I appreciate it. I enjoy the variation. It is the spice of life after all. Apologies for the yawnings, chat. I'm not entirely sure why I'm tired. Probably from the running today. This time has created some very philosophical discussions. You are correct. It is not the case this time, though. Is great, but sleep-inducing. I already had my coffee for today, too. Had it this morning. Not the intelligence shtick again. Oh, God. Not again! I have nothing more to say on it. Yep. One, uh, one black coffee a day. Usually. I, I don't have coffee more than I have coffee, though. And very occasionally, I pop by for a Starbucks. Um, but those have been a lot... Um, a lot fewer and far between as I... Save the money that I'm making from this right now in order to continue be able to do it. <clears throat> Until, you know, the snowball starts rolling. 
If you catch my drift. My favorite bands, artists at the moment. I mean, my favorite bands, I don't know if it always will be, but for ever since I discovered them for myself, uh, truly discovered them, I should say, 10 years ago, Led Zeppelin has always been my favorite band, and that's why Bonzo is named the way he is. I mean, black coffee, like, it definitely depends on what type of grounds you use. Like, if you use, like, shitty-ass $2 grounds, it's gonna be a lot harder to drink the black coffee. But, uh, I particularly got used to drinking black coffee because when I worked a normal job, all of the office offices just had normal coffee. And I was like, I don't want to put, like, sugar and shit in my coffee. A hundred and two rare candies. That's a lot of evolutions we could do. <laughs> For sure. So that's definitely worth it. So anytime... Anytime, uh, I max out money-wise, I could probably have Snorlax hold the amulet coin, since experience won't really matter for him. I could have Snorlax hold the amulet coin, and anytime we max out, I just go, uh, buy rare candies. Because I imagine, probably, by the time we get to Lance, Snorlax will probably be level 60, and I would be shocked at this point if I couldn't just sweep the team with return. Maybe not Aerodactyl. Um, I don't actually know if Snorlax... Uh, I have Thunderbolt. Uh, I mean, Snorlax doesn't have particularly high special attack, but stat EXP is a thing, so... So we'll be leveling up all the Pokémon after Mew. Yo! Our first Super Saiyan Psyduck, and he's even yellow. So it works out. I guess a shiny, uh, a shiny Psyduck is, um, what is it called? Ultra Instinct? That, that level, that, like, the blue. Well, oh, speaking of Day 9, I didn't even know I was, uh, I was following him on Twitch still. Just went live, but mostly walking. Psyduck eats Cheetos sideways? Damn. Um, in terms of other favorite bands, the apple doesn't fall, fall too far from the tree. Um, Greta Van Fleet is also great. Um, let's see. Other good band. I mostly listen to 70s and 80s stuff. Um... Blackstone Cherry has been particularly good for working out. Uh, they ride the very nice line between uh, rock and metal that I like to exist on. Um, but it's like 70s, 80s, like all the good stuff like Steely Dan and ACDC and Peter Frampton. And, um... The Police. Especially Regatta de, bon uh, Regatta de Blanc from The Police. Um... I don't... I don't honestly really like the Rolling Stones that much. I do like Sympathy for the Devil, but I don't care much. Um, for their other songs. Uh, Rush. I love Rush. Um, Closer to the Heart and Limelight are some of my favorite songs, so is Working Man. Oh, goodness. In terms of more recent artists, Quinn92 is a good artist. He does, like, sad boy indie pop. That's also Haley's music type, so... Hear a lot of that. Ah, I see Wolfbeat. Look at all these nerds using the full government name. Hmm. 
I don't think so. I know I got Philip hooked on Greta Van Fleet for a minute. Not educated as I am. Well, I do in fact occasionally play this guitar in the background and I used to pl play it a lot more. I really do wish that Greta, hopefully on their next album, they... They do more like just bullshit rock songs, you know? Instead of like... Like, I, I really still do like Battle of Gardens Gate and Scar Catcher. Star Catcher? But it's like, all right, I get it. The mystical shit is great. But just give me a rock song. <laughs> That's like your standard, I'm fucking women and doing drugs rock song. Not as into older bands, gotcha. If you do look at Quinn 92, if Sad Boy Indie Pop is your, uh, particular taste, um, Letter to My Younger Self, I think, is his most popular song. Um, and then the People's Champion album is pretty damn good all the way through, honestly. Um... Other songs. Uh, I really like Pitbull. Fucking love Pitbull. Went to a Pitbull concert and that was awesome. You know, I don't know, Wolfbeat. I mean, Josh, the lead singer of Greta Van Fleet, is openly gay. I think he's gay. He's open- he's openly something. So... Maybe that lyric could happen? Rap and hip-hop? <laughs> Mumble rap? I just- Mr. Worldwide! Goddamn right. It- the Pitbull concert's probably the hypest concert I've been to. It was so good. Tiny Meat Gang. I don't actually know what song that is. I'm, I'm more of a newer fan of his, so I don't know much of the old stuff. Um... I just have a lot- I just have a rough time with newer rap songs. Like, newer rap songs sound so similar. Which I know is the scary thing to say when you're talking about any genre of music, because then you get the, Well, actually, this sounds... But specifically with rap, a lot of the stuff that gets mega popular kind of uses the same... It kind of has the same flow with similar instrumentation and all of that. But if you want some fucking awesome R&B, you listen to An Evening with Silk Sonic. That's a fucking amazing album right there. Doo -doo. Smart lyricism, too? I don't really know if An Evening with Silk Sonic has, like, smart lyricism. It's been a while since I've listened to any of those songs, but the instrumentation is fantastic. Well, it's just like, that's why I appreciate, um, like, rap and hip-hop. Like, Good Day by the Nappy Roots is probably... I don't think it's my favorite rap song, but it's one of my favorites. It's just, it's just more interesting to listen to, you know? There was a phase I had where I did listen to, like, 21 Savage. I won't lie. Like, even the Migos. The Migos do a great job having each song sound somewhat unique. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Hearing me say 21 Savage? Why is that? Am I too white for it? <laughs> M's in my bank account for real. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account for real. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. I, I hate to say that I'm like this, but I just really don't like Kendrick Lamar's voice. I don't know. I don't know if I like Humble because I got used to it, because it's popular, or because I actually like the song. What was really fun for a while while I was still, like, on the internet and stuff and watching, like, TikTok and things like that. Um, oh god. Oh, there was a rapper who freestyled called Harry Mack. And I enjoyed his freestyles quite a bit. I shouldn't say was, it probably is an is. I'm sure he has like a YouTube channel and stuff. Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight is definitely a game I need to give a stream try. I think that's a game where I will encourage the backseating. Because I have such a... I have tried to play Hollow Knight three or four times and I just can't get into it. Which is so weird because it has literally all of the things that I'd like. It's, from what I've seen, it's got the good movement. It's Metroidvania. It's got, like, interesting combat. But it's even got fucking Shovel Knight shit. Shovel Knight is also something that needs to be on the channel. However, I only have Shovel Knight on Switch. And have yet to see it on sale on Steam. Twenty-four hour stream part two. Well, here's my current plan. This is very much subject to change. I'm actually checking Steam right now to see if uh, Treasure Trove. It's not on sale, man. Devil May Cry Five is uh, nine bucks though. Okami is also uh, ten bucks. But I can't be spending money on uh, superfluous games right now, on any games really that aren't for the stream. Uh, my current plan is that January, on the stream, I have a... I have a four-year anniversary video planned. I don't know if it's gonna get done in time, but I do have a four-year anniversary video planned. Um, but at least on stream, what I plan to do is that all of January, because my four-year anniversary is January 21st, um, my four-year anniversary will be all of January. I'm just gonna play a bunch of games that I really fucking like. Um, Super Metroid may be in there. I don't know, because I would have to spend a lot of money to get it to be good on the Super Nintendo. And I just, it's so hard for me to play Super Metroid not on a Super Nintendo. Um, but things like, I plan on doing like StarCraft 2, a uh, campaign run of StarCraft 2. Maybe on Brutal. I'm not entirely sure. I've never played on Brutal before. Um, well, here's the here's the deal. Here's the deal. Is it's going to be... They're not going to... It's not going to be the 24-hour streams. Um, like, StarCraft 2 is one. FTL is one. Gravity Circuit is another one. Um, things like that. Like, big variety. And then... Uh, on... Uh, not on the day... But I think, I can't remember if I decided Friday into Saturday or Saturday into Sunday. I think I'm going to do Friday into Saturday. Um, Friday into Saturday, so it'd probably be the 17th into the 18th. Uh, I'm going to do a 24-hour stream. How far I want to play? I want to beat Hollow Knight. Like, I'd really like to beat Hollow Knight. I can always go back to just playing on hard. 
whatever your standard casual OS beat the game is. Richmond on the horizon. Very distant horizon. Is there not a normal ending? Well, the main thing would be like, when I play Hollow Knight, the whole point I brought this up is that in January I would do this, I'd do this Hollow Knight stream. Um, hard mode is Weenie Hut Jr. difficulty? That's fine with me. Um, I don't know if I want to have sub goals for the entire month. Because the only sub goals that actually work are Sonic sub goals. <laughs> so I think I might just have sub goals for the 24 hour stream itself. Um. Well, the point is, is that I think that I will actually enjoy Hollow Knight if I have some guidance. Because I don't think that I enjoy it enough. Like, any time I've tried to play Hollow Knight, I don't enjoy it enough to want to um, continue playing. Like, for a multitude of reasons. One, I just don't care for the art style. Two, I keep dying. Um, like... Things like that, not fully understanding how the game and its mechanics work, those types of things. So I think just being like, having a chat being like, oh, you can do this, oh, you need to go here now. Like, that kind of like soft back seating, I think will really help. I am a goofy goober, true. But, uh, yeah, Hol anyway, whole point is Hollow Knight is one of them. And we'll pretty much get to go through the whole Steam library. I really wanted to do a stream of Burnout Paradise Remastered, but I don't actually know what I would do in that game for a stream. <laughs> yeah, it'll be helpful is what I'm saying. Uh, Magicka? I don't know if anybody knows Magicka. This that game is old as shit. I don't actually know if it'll run well. Uh, but probably Mega Man X. Um... Let's see. Maybe some Shantae. It depends on how well we do, of course, you know, if we keep getting subs and stuff like that. Burnout 3, but I don't own it. That's the thing is, like, I... I cannot buy any new games right now. In order in order for me to continue doing this full time, I have to be as literally as thrifty as possible. Um right now. So if the game's over ten bucks and it's not for a stream. The two criteria is that one, if I buy a game, I have to stream it and it has to be under ten dollars in order to purchase it. Especially after doing the giveaway for Sonic Shadow Generations, like... It's just... that's just the case right now. I can't just be buying shit. Um... I think I'm actually gonna be doing something with Pariah, uh, in January as well. Which will be sick. Uh, I have played the Spark games. I can't say I like them that much. Um... I think maybe, in terms of gameplay, with Spark 3, I'd enjoy it more the more I replayed it, but it didn't, I didn't have any interest in the move set. What the fuck is going on in general chat right now? Whatever. <laughs> um... I'm not playing Undertale or Deltarune. Because I guarantee you, and I won't guarantee it, but it'll be significantly likely that I will not like the games. Mario Sunburn could be one, yeah.
And I already get yelled at enough by people who like Sonic that tell me I'm the fan I'm not the fan they want me to be. <laughs> so, I don't I don't want another fan base to tell me that. And also when I look at games, I look at gameplay and Undertale and from what I understand Deltarune are very much story driven. And streamer. I mean, uh, yeah, you could boil down some comments to that, yeah. There are a multitude of reasons. There are a multitude of reasons. But it's it's okay. I will not be playing Undertale or Deltarune. I also don't like playing story-focused games on stream, because then I have to pay attention to the game. <laughs> I have to pay attention to the story of the game. Which I'm not doing majority of the time because I'm talking to chat. Because that's what I like doing. So. A story focused game is just... Would just be silly. Uh, to stream. I think. Ba -da -da. Borderlands. Borderlands 2 playthrough. I don't know how quickly I can do a normal playthrough of Borderlands, though. Also, the problem with Borderlands is I really do like farming for weapons. <laughs> but maybe I could... I'm trying to think of any other Goku chatters have played Borderlands. I think Cookie has. An RPG that I've played before wouldn't be off the table, like Paper Mario or Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door I'd play. Those are also Mario games. But it, I would be skipping the story. Like, when I stream, I like doing gameplay. I don't like doing story stuff. Especially because... Especially because, and in... Um... For the Shadow Gens video, it's like... If I am watching a story, I know that I am being watched to react a certain way. Or, like, to react. Whereas, like, I'd much rather... For the first time, experience the story of a game on my own. So that way I can react how I react. Rather than immediately think, Oh, I reacted this way. Oh, shit. You know? That wasn't the correct answer. Why do you stream? I would love to. I've never beaten Thousand Year Door. I've gotten to the Shadow Palace, but I've never beaten the Shadow Queen. But I also have to own the game. Thankfully, there's that, uh... The Psyduck purple on your counter, because that is the shiny Psyduck. Every, uh... Every Pokemon on the counter is the shiny variant of that Pokemon. Or close to it, I guess. I mean, I'm not entirely convinced it's what I want to do for the 24-hour stream, but it really depends on, like, kind of the next two videos that I'm making, the Shadow Gens video and then the one after that one. Um, like, it depends where I'm at monetarily, because if I'm just, if I'm just not in a good spot monetarily, I'm gonna have to play, uh, PO6 or Shadow Gens or something like that. Because the ultimate goal is to continue doing this full-time, and if it's what I have to do, it's what I have to do. But if I'm doing this full-time forever, then there's always the opportunity to do that. 24-hour stream could probably still happen. Oh, I just explained the whole thing. 
No, it would be a 24-hour stream. The only reason the 24-hour streams happened is because I didn't have the internet to, uh, like, reliable internet to do a 24-hour stream. That was the only reason. Yes. <laughs> In February last year, I literally couldn't stream. Wasn't listening, was having fun in chat. How dare you? Also, I'm a side up behind. Yep, that's what I did. You can find the uh, you can find the playlist Wolf Beat on the um, on the second channel of everything I did. Well, the goal is, is to have a 24-hour stream, uh, probably starting at noon on the 17th. Yeah, noon on the 17th of January to the 18th of January. Noon that time, anyway. I also would love to do a subathon. The problem with doing these types of things is that I also make YouTube stuff. And if I do things like a subathon, I don't have time to work on the YouTube stuff. <laughs> Any new game I am hyped for? Um, no. I'm also probably not hyped for anything because I can't purchase them anyway. I'm very much hard focused on um on my on my job. Ever tried Epic Mickey? I have not tried Epic Mickey. Doo -doo -doo. My main my main deal is that I'm an entertainer and uh, what I do comes first because I love doing it and I think that I can get really good at it and make lots of money. It's just uh, requiring this very upfront cost of time and not making a lot of money for the first couple years. And by first couple, I mean probably like first six or seven. <laughs> but if I can continue to do it, then... It'll work out. Free games, Fortnite stream? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to doing a Fortnite stream, honestly. Like a squads. Top five on the leaderboards? I would be nowhere close. Um, do top five. There are, there is a lot of shit that people are doing. But the, I guess the main thing is that with Shadow Gens, a lot of people are doing things really well but I don't exactly know how many people are doing things consistently well. Because it's very, it's very different. For any percent, absolutely not in the, um, even the top 10. Like I'll submit my any percent time, but it'll probably be when the leaderboards first come out, it'll probably be in the top 20, and then I'll probably be in the top 50. Um, Grass and Bunwa, probably just because it'll be a less popular category. Uh, I'll be in maybe the top 20. Is Sydney here? Did I miss him? Oh, you're looking at the, uh, the sub. Yeah. Sydney's cool. New reviewer. We have almost maxed out the chain. 60 more Psyducks to go. No shiny, unfortunately.
Bum 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 I don't know, what would you guys want to see on the 24 hour stream? Like what games? Obviously I'll be playing Sonic 1, 2, th and uh, 3 and K. Uh, cause I do that as a uh, tradition. Because those are the games I played on my very first stream. But then after that, I don't, I don't really have any idea. Uh, and Twitch versus is not a, uh, is not an answer. Yo, Nightbot popping off. Mario and Luigi? I would, a, probably can't be an RPG. I would not be able to finish those in 24 hours. Play your game! Oh, okay. Play some Mario, maybe. Minecraft Hardcore. <laughs> That'd be the most random 24 hour stream ever. Where I play the classic Sonic trilogy and then just immediately. <laughs> and then just play Minecraft Hardcore for the rest of the stream. I wouldn't be mad about it, honestly. But that'd be quite goofy. Happy Wheels? Dude, that would be fun, actually. If I can even still play it. Play through Mega Man Zero again. Absolutely not. The only Mega Man Zero game I think I would touch again is three or four. I actually really enjoyed uh, the gameplay of four. But that was also the last one I played. Maybe I'd play through Mega Man Zero on the, uh, on the story mode. Well, Hollow Knight, I think I'll just play as, like, a random stream. I don't own, a uh, PlayStation. It would have to be, like, computer game. What I could maybe do is, uh, I can make a Google form of all the things that I, of all the games that I own and would be able to stream. And, uh, you guys, actually, that wouldn't be a bad I idea at all. I could do that and you guys could pick it, like, could pick the games and the most popular ones could be sub goals and I could just have the rest be, um, And I could have you vote multiple times. The thing is, is I own a lot of games, so. Well, I would like for a person to be able to vote for each game one time. Like, you could, you could vote, like one vote for each game. I don't know how I could get Google Forms to do that. The thing is, is that I do own quite a few games, so. I don't know how long the list would be. But I would assume that the overwhelming majority will be the Sonic stuff, but I'd be curious to see what the... The 24-hour stream won't be just one game, though. I'll probably have to figure out something, like, easy for, um... Like, the Vampire Hours. Vampire Survivors is a game I want to stream. Man, this chain has taken a really fucking long time. I guess we started it at, like, 4.20. New game every two hours? I mean, ideally, it'll be a game until I beat it. And if some sub goals are met that I don't beat, I'll just spend the next week playing through everything else. It's what I did for the 12 hours of PO6. Yeah, Vampire Survivors is great. 
So say like we met a sub goal, but I was out of time for the 24 hours. Um, like save for just to pick something like Penny's big breakaway was met at 600 subs. Um, what I might even do is for the poll, I'll have games that I already own and then games I'd be willing to purchase through sub goals. Like what sub goal games would you like to see? And then I could just put a bunch of those. It works for me, man. Also, Psyduck behind again. Damn, dude, this one shiny average is not, not great. Ever played through the ZX games? I have uh, played both ZX and ZX Advent. It was before the Legacy Collection, though, and I did use an emulator with save states. Yeah, Shovel Knight's a banger. I, I, I didn't like it. See, that's the thing is, and I think it'll also happen with Hollow Knight is that like, I just didn't get it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to play through Shovel Knight and I get it now. Shovel Knight is great. <laughs> Do we not have a predict running? I thought we did. Yeah, there is. We got 98% on yes for the before 250 and 2% on no. We do have the two extra rerolls here. I'd also be willing to really throw it back and do Skyrim main quest. That would be really fun. I have never beaten the main quest of Skyrim to this day. I know what it is, obviously, but I have never done it. And I would cheese the shit out of it too. I have never played RE4. RE4 would definitely be a sub goal game. Because I don't own it. The original one. Please dragons with Silver the Hedgehog. I would want to do it on a vanilla playthrough uh, first. I don't even own the Anniversary Edition. Yes, RE4 is a game that I want to play. The original one. I do have an older Skyrim playthrough. It was, uh, it was for the Nostalgia Trip series. Where I played through Pokemon Fire Red. And, um... I actually still have the save file for the Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. Um, and uh, I was doing Skyrim, and I think I got to the Thalmor Embassy before Chaos dropped the Shadow release. There's an HD mod if you hate how the OG looks. I mean, whenever it's my first experience with the game, Unless it's like, oh, this game is bad and this mod is literally life-changing to make the game better. Uh, I will always try the vanilla experience first. Most of the time, it just gives me a, um... Uh, yes, because I have yet to really dive into Skyrim. I think on PlayStation, I enabled the Creation Club content, and that is literally it. I mean, I'm also not a massive graphics snob. I mean, look at the game I'm playing right now. But yeah, I think the Google form will be a good idea. So on January 1st, I'll release the Google form. I'll have two, uh, I'll have two sections, the games I own and the games I'm willing to purchase for sub goals. And you can just like a checkbox. I guess like games that I own that I'm willing to stream. Because...
Is Niv breaking the rules? A Niv? You slide on. Dun 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 dun. Come on, Psyduck. We are actually at the 1 in 371 odds right now. Actually, we're a little bit above that because we just get one reroll. We hit the 1 in 371 at 200. He really has been on a real Spanish kick lately. You're right. call him a Niv at this point. Very true, I think. Oh, I didn't see the, I didn't see the accent. What's up, Vilas? How much for me to shave just the mustache? Like to have a chin strap? Oh, that's hunt that's 100 subs. Right there. 100 subs and I'd do it. That would look so fucking gross. But also what's up, Vilas? How's it going? I have not played a Final Fantasy game, but I would really really like to... I did have a chin strap when I was in high school because I couldn't grow a mustache. I couldn't actually really grow the facial hair until I was about 24, I want to say. When it actually started looking decent. But yeah, 100 subs, certainly. <laughs> Love it, Beck. Also, when do you start your job? If you want to mention it. Yeah. Much like the, uh, the shaved head phase, if you're white, um, all men go through a chin strap phase. They wear facial hair. Or if they wear facial hair, if they have facial hair. It's not a great phase, but a necessary one. Looking for early December? Let's go! And you wear facial hair? You and only you can, Volt. Unhinged behavior? Yeah, but it's okay, because it's only slightly unhinged behavior, Vilas. <laughs> beard growth has been crazy? You mean for yourself, or you mean for me? When did I shave? I shaved, uh, mid-October. Or no. I think I shaved in September. No. It was it was one of these streams. I think it was the first stream where we used the shadow skin. Full circle, baby. Let's go. I wish you all the success at your next job. It is crazy, but also scary. Because sometimes, uh... Sometimes it cannot look good. How much to shave? Um, enough to pay somebody to do it for me. <laughs> Why was the emote even removed? I've never removed Keck W. Just nobody uses it. My stream is very emote light. Checking in about it? Oh, of course. I mean, you know, I I do my best to 
be genuinely... Because, I mean, I'm just, like, interested in other people and what's going on in their lives. So, yeah, no worries. I think it's important. I mean, you guys come in and ask me how I'm doing all the time. Why can't I return the favor? Especially right now, I think that's one of the benefits of having a smaller stream audience, is that you can do stuff like that. So, might as well take advantage of it while I can. Is Kek W... I don't know. Yeah, I think as I said last time we did a, uh, a crystal clear stream, uh, there is a lot of benefit to being the dumbest person in the room. Because you get, um... Because you get clarification, and anyone smarter than you. And that's as far as we're going. Also, uh... Yeah. Uh, no shiny. We do still have 20 minutes of, uh, encounters, though. So, I think in 20 minutes... Let's go to 325. Uh, for the last predict, if anyone wants to throw their money in. There you go. Alright, let's do this. It's, uh, encountering time. I don't really need to drop a save. Means nowhere to go but up. That's also true. Predicting on something you have no knowledge on? Uh, you have every single time we encounter a Psyduck, you have a 1 in 252 chance to be correct, if you believe. I probably should have made this predict prediction shorter. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to return your guys' points, and I'm going to make this prediction shorter. Let's do... Before... 325. And I'm going to make it a two-minute prediction. There we go. Now you guys can predict. I was going to say, we're going to be... Like, so many encounters higher. That's a good quote. I like that. Well, because that's the thing is, the more detailed you can be, the easier it makes it for people who already know what they're doing, and it clarifies it for people who don't know what they're doing. So it's literally... It is nothing more but than beneficial to be more detailed in your instructions. Have your rings? Let's go, Volt. Ignorance of how bad everything is. <laughs> I'm not gonna entertain that. Because I'll get yelled at. I don't feel like getting yelled at. Psyduck is permanently shocked just to be alive. That's his... his state. I've also noticed that the crystal sprites really, uh... really like the... the two hands up or out. Or anything. I guess that's just how they were feeling when it came to posing. If there's one... if there's one change I could make to Crystal Clear, it would be to change Pikachu's sprite to the to the uh, Pokemon Silver Sprite. Because Pokemon Silver Pikachu Sprite is great. Fat Pikachu? I mean, this game still is Fat Pikachu. He's trimmed down since Gen 1, but still a very chonky boy. Fairly chonky boy. Gen 4 is when Pikachu really slims down. All right, I'll hydrate. Wireless coming in, taking over the chat. 
Don't forget that hydrate is for everybody when somebody redeems it. So don't forget to drink water, gamers. Ah, uh, I egged him on. And posture check as well. Yeah, Gen 1 Pikachu is thick. He also had a colored stomach. Well, not having water next to you, Doc, when the, the when hydrate was possible. You're in a desert, drink what? Your own spit. Cause that totally helps. <laughs> Having free requirements. Yeah, you gotta get your free rex in. But Cookie as a runner up? Unfortunately, Cookie's just been really busy. You can't uh, hang out as much. Maybe, maybe the veil has lifted since I met him in person at GDQ. He's just not as interested anymore. I think he's actually just really busy. Because he used to be around all the time. Life gets in the way, especially now that I stream at a later time. I have been considering the 9 a.m. streams again. It's just that usually after streams, I'm fairly tired, especially when I streamed at 9 a.m. before. Um... I don't know. I don't know. The 9 a.m. streams were great, though, because a lot of people were just, like, here because it was part of their routine. Versus, you know, being busy with other stuff they want to do after school or after work or things like that. Is CC chat even more active than normal chats? Um, I don't know about more active. I'd say definitely since it's come back, it's been a little bit more, like, closer to active. I'd, I'd just say there's maybe more chatty people here especially because i can actually talk like if you if you watch uh a speed running stream versus one of these streams i'm capable of talking and carrying a conversation a lot more and carrying a conversation further because i actually remember my previous point rather than reading a chat looking at the game for like 30 seconds and then trying to remember what i was going to say to chat <laughs> Cause that's what happened a lot during the uh, during the launch stream for Shadow Gens. I mean, not only was it late in the day, but uh, like I was trying to focus on the game because it was all new, and I would like say some shit and then trail off or not add to my point, and people would take it the wrong way, and it's like. Mm. But yes, the fact that I am more mentally available on these streams, I think, is helpful. All right, good luck studying, Wolfbeat. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Appreciate it. We're gonna get to 325, and then that is going to be the stream for today. Uh, to finish out this predict. There's this challenge. What do you think I'll do for chill streams? Well, this challenge, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes the entirety of next year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really just depends. Different people like different things, you know? Uh, I mean, I've been told that my Sonic streams are pretty chill, too, so... Um, I have considered... Crystal Clear has a built-in Nuzlocke mode. So I think it'd be fun to do progressively harder Nuzlocks in this game. Um, 
But, I mean, I'd probably do... Uh... Like, I think... I think we'll see. But I think I want to continue playing Shadow Generations into the new year. And then, in January... Obviously, depending on, on how things are going, because I talked about, you know, having January be a big variety year. Um... Having the... Uh, like, I really want to get the... I have a gold time for Sonic Any% percent in PO6 that I really want to get. Is the, is the short of it. I was trying to think of three different ways to say it. Um, so, after... Probably after, like, the Shadow movie. Or, the, I guess, Sonic movie 3. Um... Yeah. You're talking to the odd Sonic VODs of yours? Yeah, I, I, it's weird. I don't particularly think the speedrunning streams are that chill, but some people find it relaxing, which uh, makes it crazy. I, I don't know how fucking wild people are being. Because the only other real experience I have with a Sonic speedrunning stream of a person who's like, not just streaming because they're speedrunning, but like is actually like a streamer and is making a career out of it is Emerald. And I feel like Emerald and I have a pretty similar vibe. I'm a little bit, a <laughs> little bit. I'm a lot of bit snarkier than he is. Find everyone's first couple of vids when they start streaming, their voices had a deeper freshness to it. Uh, I mean, maybe. Snark builds character. Well, no, Emerald's a fantastic streamer, too. Like, he's got good vibes, he's got a good chat, good people that come to his streams. They're more casual playing? Well, here's the deal, right? Is I have found that with the exception of Twitch Versus, the chat can only have as much fun or be as engaged as I am. Like, I am the upper limit. So if I am not having fun, again, outside of Twitch Versus, if I am not having fun, I cannot expect the chat to also have fun. So I really, really enjoy playing games casually. That's what I do. It just so happens that the source, the well of infinite content for Sonic games is speedrunning. So that's what I do. If my game wasn't Sonic, I probably wouldn't speedrun it, if that makes sense. But like, the most fun I ever had with PO6 was training for the GDQ run. Because the GDQ run, yeah, it's a speedrun, but it's... It was more of a showcase than anything, and an, and an entertainment piece. And the literal hundreds of hours that went into making that run what it was. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of- there was a lot of love on the Shadow Expert mode, uh, pretty much all of the Month of Shadow videos did- did well. Other than, uh, the Minecraft video, but that's because that wasn't Sonic. And because we got literally the shittiest nether in existence. <laughs> Which doesn't help. Well, not only has- have Gordon and I known each other for a while, and not only did we practice, like, a bunch, like, I practice, like, actively practice outside of the stream, uh, for those 100 GDQ runs. Uh, the 100, uh, practice runs I did, that you can find in the playlist on the second channel. Um, Gordon was with me for, I think, 40 of them? So we obviously had a lot of practice doing them together, and then... The other thing is that when I commentate with Gordon, other than, like, and it's not that I don't like commentating with people like Rev or Philip and stuff. I also really like commentating with them. I think that the secret sauce with Gordon is that both of us try to outdo each other. Like, in terms of, um... In terms of, like, commentating. Like, it's just a constant battle to try to one-up each other and how good our commentary can be. And I think that's... 
That's where I, because you can see it in the gravity circuit run too. Because if you didn't know, I also did commentary on the gravity circuit run, which uh, Gauss Mark II fucking killed it as well. On that. But yeah. It, it would not be the same without Gordon. Like, I don't think that the PO6 run would have been as half as good as it was without him. Like, he was a huge part of why it was good. Oh, shoot! We're past 350. You caught me monologuing! Rip to the believers. Alrighty, well, I am going to have to cut this short because I do have to go on time today. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be doing some more uh, Shadow Generation stuff. Um, I think I'm going to just do all stages, all bosses, no Doomwing. I have a plan, I think, for what I want to do. Um, but I'm not entirely sure uh, if that's what's going to be happening. But it will be Shadow Generation speedrunning tomorrow. Um, if you're on the YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.